hard to believe that schools in Fall River begin in less than two weeks. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll be previewing what parents and students can expect. As the 2023-2024 school year begins on August 30th at Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School, a series of transitions will soon take place as work will begin on constructing a new high school. Assistant Superintendent Principal Andrew Ribello says the construction work will not impact the educational experience within the classroom. I think our mission is to intensify our focus on what matters most for our kids, right? And that's getting them life ready in academics, in vocational, when we're talking to them, social, emotionally, we're getting them life ready. And I really think Diamond is the pinnacle of academic and vocational uh, education. Don't take my word for it. Look at achievement scores. Talk to co-op employers. Talk to the employers where our kids are going. Um, we, we, our challenge is and our mission is to continue meeting that high standard of excellence and it's going to happen again this year. Ground will be broken on the project sometime this fall and with it will come some inconvenience. The biggest thing uh, that will change is the, uh, the traffic patterns. Um, we will over communicate those things. We like to keep our parents, our students, our teachers informed every step of the way through email communication, phone communication, and also video. We're trying to reach every single parent and student and, and teacher when changes do happen. Um, so the traffic pattern will change, not dramatically, uh, but we will have aerial shots and views of where to go, where to park, this is how you come in, this is how you exit um, in a really detailed fashion because I think that's important is making sure everyone is comfortable and primarily safe as well as soon as they enter campus. Mr. Rubello says the school will welcome 385 first year students into the class of 2027, one of the largest in Diamond's history. Among the new opportunities they and the entire student body can experience is a taste of local and regional arts and culture. Something that students can look forward to is something called a cultural arts program. It's an extracurricular event and it's really to expose kids to the arts in different cultures as well. We're looking at um, getting, getting students out of the greater Fall River area to museums, to concert venues, all over the state and regionally to expose them to different areas, right? We want to show our students the world. We keep saying, you know, we're getting kids life ready. If we're gonna get them ready for life, we have to expose them to all the culture and arts that are out there. It can really enhance their overall experience. Mr. Ribello says Diamond is proud to have closed the achievement gap lost during the pandemic to the point that recent MCAS scores have returned to pre-pandemic levels. It was very encouraging to see um, you know, our achievement data as uh, one of the highest in the area. And to think that we only have half the time to teach academics, if you think students are in academics for 90 days, they're in vocational shop for 90 days, that's a te testament to the diamond difference. And it's really the teachers that are in front of our kids every day, and then our students and parents taking advantage of our virtual tutoring, our after school tu tutoring, our math interventionists, things that we really hit the gas and went full, full fledged with. So um, it's something that we're going to keep in mind. Argosy Collegiate Charter School will begin its 10th year serving scholars in grades 6 through 12 beginning on August 30th. Executive Director Kristen Pavo says the mission of the school remains, showing Fall River how a college education can positively impact a community. Fall River has a history of, of you know, being a working class community. Um, and so that means that roughly 90 to 95 percent of the adults in Fall River don't have a college degree. So if our young people are not hearing about college at home, they need to be hearing about it at school. And so it really is about immersing the young people, immersing our scholars in this idea, in this environment that college is attainable, college is for everyone. So our homerooms are all named after colleges and universities. We celebrate great weeks with our scholars with Collegiate Day where scholars wear college and university t-shirts. You know, um, We're on college campuses all of the time. That's part of our experience. And so for scholars to really think and believe that college can be for them, they need to be shown. They need to see it. It can't just be words and it can't be flags on the wall. The school will start with just under 600 scholars enrolled. 
Ms. Pavo feels Argosy provides a clear choice for parents seeking higher education options for their children. One of the things that we're really focused on is in making sure that the community knows all of their options for their children um, in education. Um, when, we, when I wrote the charter for the school, there were only two high schools, public high schools in Fall River. There was Durfee and there was Diamond. Well, now there's Durfee, there's Diamond, there's Atlantis, and there's Argosy. And each school has a niche. So if young people are interested in learning a trade or a vocation and going, entering the workforce right out of high school and not going to college, Argosy Collegiate isn't the choice. That's probably Diamond or perhaps Durfee. Um, if scholars are interested in pursuing a career that requires a college degree, they want to become a teacher, a nurse, an engineer, an architect, um, an entrepreneur. You need a bachelor's degree to do many of those professions and unquestionably Argosy Collegiate is the best choice for someone pursuing a career that requires a college degree if time and money are relevant. Scholars at Argosy can begin earning college credits in the ninth grade and many head into college not needing to pay for a full education with those free credits that are earned, saving parents money. Many of our scholars um, are going to experience that four-year uh, matriculation to a four-year college program, but some of our students are going to continue their program, their college studies at Bristol Community College, um, and then transfer those credits, that associate's degree, to a Massachusetts state school like, like UMass Dartmouth, for example. And that's really the least expensive way to get a college degree. And that's really our promise to our scholars and our families. How do we get our young people to and through a college degree as quickly as possible and as inexpensively as possible? And with Argosy Collegiate, our early college program isn't just for the top academic students, it's for 100%, and that includes students with disabilities, English language learners, high need students, so it really is for everyone, and that's our approach to education. As the school moves forward, Argosy has begun to see validation in the success of its curriculum. One recent graduate completed her bachelor's degree in five and a half semesters at Bridgewater State University, and another is beginning her second year at Harvard. We're really focused now in what happens in the second decade of the organization. How do, we how do we go from being in growth mode to becoming an institution? So it isn't about me as the school leader. It isn't about necessarily the people that are on the board right now or the people in leadership. That the, we, we create an establishment that lives on forever so that generations to come, the children of our alumni, will be able to access this early college program here as well. So it's really about becoming an institution here in the landscape of Fall River. So much has happened in on the educational landscape in Fall River, so families have many more options. Hands down, we are the best college prep option that there is, considering that we have the wall-to-wall -wall opportunity for every single one of our scholars. Next week, we'll preview what's ahead for the Fall River Public Schools and the Atlantis Charter School as they open up their new school years.